Sweet. All right. We have a few people on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so I was thinking how we can start off this live stream today. And because it's Christmas time, I was thinking we could sing a little Christmas song. What do you all think? Um, so let me know. I'm hoping that some of my um, lovely friends will join so that they can comment and it'll be a good time. <laughs> But I hope you are all doing so good. Medina, welcome. Woohoo! Today's going to be super fun because we are just going to be having a group discussion with all of the people who have subscribed. And so it's going to be super awesome. But to start out this live stream, I kind of wanted to sing you all a fun little song. <laughs> so this will be good. I am going to share the words with you um, just so you can kind of follow along and see the words, okay? Drivener, hello. Basim, Shadi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Dimitri, what's up? All right, so we're gonna, just going to sing a fun little Christmas song. So I'm going to share the words so you can all follow along, okay? Are you, are you all seeing this? Okay, perfect. Woohoo! And you can all sing along as well, okay? Hello, Fazil. We're going to be singing this little Christmas song, okay? Dashing through the snow In a one-horse open sleigh O'er the fields we go Laughing all the way Bells on bobtails ring Making spirits bright what fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Woohoo! Sorry. <laughs> so that was our fun little Christmas song to start out. Um, and yes, this is a, a ukulele. I don't know if you can all see this. Stop sharing screen. Stop sharing. Okay. So yes, this is a ukulele. Were you all able to read the words? All of the... Yeah. This is a fun little song. This is a very popular song for... Hello, Marwa. Welcome, welcome. So yes, this is a popular song that we like to sing during the Christmas season. We'll have to do like a fun Christmas musical thing because I like to do music stuff. But how is everybody doing? Welcome, welcome. So I'm so excited for today because we're going to have a fun discussion with everybody. Um... But I first just want to hear how is everyone doing? Oh, Medina, you're so cute. <laughs> uh, yes, everyone is welcome. And it looks like we have quite a few people who are watching as well. Welcome to everyone who is watching. I hope you are all doing well as well. Um, so today, like I have talked about, my focus is to help you all get an opportunity to practice and to, uh, to practice speaking. Okay, to give you opportunities to speak. And so to all of my lovely subscribers, they we're going to just have a group discussion and we're going to talk about different things, answer different questions. Um, and I will be helping you um, with pronunciation as well as um, with wording because the way that you answer some of these questions is a little different. And so that's what we're going to do today. Is everyone ready? First of all is, let's see, so Medina Drivener, Bazim, Shadi, Shadi, Dimitri, Dimitri, Fazil, Bia, Marwa, um, I think that's everybody that's watching. Are you all able to join today? If not, no worries. But are you all... Oh, Shadi, Shadi, what happened to your voice? 
that's not good. I hope that a lot of people can join because that's all we're going to have to do. Oh, yes, you have the flu. I forgot about that. Well, Shadi, I hope that you feel better because that is not fun to be sick. Um, dang, that's really sad. But I have prepared. Um, but yes, it'll be good to have you in the comments, Shadi. That'll be super, that'll be super fun. So I have prepared a little presentation to kind of have little pictures and things that we're going to talk about, okay? Um, so as soon as everyone is ready, um, I just came back from playground after playing soccer. I'm out of breath. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Way to get your exercise in. Marwa says, I can hop on for a while, but need to go later. No worries. We, this will not be super crazy. All right, so we will start bringing people on. I, and then I will share my screen later. Do, do, do. Woohoo, this is gonna be my first group discussion. This is so fun. Hello. Hello, how are you Hello. doing? How are you? <laughs> Great, Hello. how are you doing today? Ooh, I'm doing so hey. good, Marwa. I'm so, so happy. This is going to be so fun. Um, yeah. And Drivener, is that your name? Yeah. It's oh. not my real name, but it's uh, my hello name. Okay. Nice to meet you, Teacher Haley. Nice to meet you, Marwa. It is so nice I, to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo. Uh, uh, I know you, teacher Haley. You don't know me, but uh, nice to meet you. Uh, yes. I know you. You are from the beginning of Hello. Yeah. Yep. And by the way, I am a guitar teacher. You are what? I am a guitar teacher. I, sorry, say that one. I am a guitar. I am a guitar teacher. Guitar. Are you yeah. serious? What? You want to play some oh, bells? <laughs> yeah, I played with you. Really? Wait. This is C major, C major scale. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Wait. Do you want to play something for us, real quick? Oh, uh, I am not a singer. I am not a singer like you, but uh, I am not bad. I think uh, I am at home. I have my classic guitar, but uh, most of the time I play electric on electric guitar. Ooh, that's cool. Some something like this. I know you like it. I was dancing <laughs> here. Thank you. I was dancing. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Marwa, do you play any instruments? Um, I used to play piano, but I'm not good at. But I, I, I sing in the shower. We can say so. My voice is not that good, but I can sing a little bit. That is awesome. We should totally do like a talent show or something where everyone can just show their talents. <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes, sorry, uh, with the teacher Rahat Ali, we, mm -hmm. we made some uh, musical live, stre live streams. Are you serious? That is yeah. so cool. Hey, Bia says that you're an amazing singer, Marwa. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bia, no. <laughs> That's so fun. Well, be My it. Is this case, but yeah. No, I doubt it. I feel like you're a good singer too. But Bia, do you want to join or Fazil? Does anyone, would anyone else like to join our little group conversation for today? It's going to be super fun. Um, She's amazing in everything. I agree. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh well, cool. God. Okay, I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Um, so, Drivener, where yeah. are you from? Okay, I'm from Ukraine. One Ooh. moment, please. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am from Ukraine. 
I am a guitar teacher. Nice. I have a family, two kids and wife. And uh, I'm a student here nice. on Halo. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, oh. I'm a citizen of Halo. Oh, nice. You're a family <laughs> member here on Halo. That's yeah. awesome. How cool. So how long have you been using Holo? Uh, maybe I've been using Holo since last uh, summer, okay. 2020, 2020. Okay. So. Nice. That's my awesome. English my English is a product of Holo, by the way. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm I'm really proud of it. Yeah, your English is very good. And it's super cool because I, when I was going to college, I had, there was one, one of my friends, he was from Ukraine. And so just hearing your accent makes me miss him because it was so fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome though. Yeah. All right. Well, we can get started then. And if any, if anyone else would like to join Medina, um, I know Shabi is a little sick, so she's going to participate in the comments, but yeah, if anyone else would like to join to hop on, you are all more than welcome. But we can get started and share the screen. Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be kind of like what we did last time where it was just kind of like a get to know you where we ask questions, but it's gonna be a little bit more speaking focused, okay? Yeah. Okay, Madina's gonna join, woohoo! Woohoo! Madina. Madina. Hello, teacher. Hello, Medina. How are you hi, doing? Teacher. I'm so good. By the way, hi, Mara, my sister. Hi, Dora. Hello, Medina. Hi, hi. Oh, this is gonna be so good. All right. Um, share screen. Um, group discussion. Slideshow. Hey, can you all see that? Yeah. 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 Perfect. Okay, so we're just going to kind of go through these slides and just have a discussion. There's a few questions to kind of lead the discussion, but whatever you want to say, if you want to add things, if you want to ask other people questions, um, we can totally do that. And if you have any questions, um, then feel free to ask if you have, if you want to learn a different word or, yeah, it's going to be super fun. Okay, so the first question, or the first topic is talking about our families. I love my family so much. In fact, here is a picture of my family. Um, ah, no, don't look at that one. <laughs> so this is a picture. We saw nothing, it's fine. <laughs> Perfect. So this is a picture of my family. Um, I can kind of go ahead first and just explain my family. So the first question is, how many siblings do you have? So as you can see, I have one, two, three, four siblings. So I am the oldest. I have three sisters and a little brother. So I am the oldest. Next, it is Heidi. She is 18 years old. And then it is Alexa. She is 16. Then it is Ashley. She is 14. And then it is Lincoln. And he is 10 years old. And so that is my family. And then these are my parents, my mom and my dad. Um, so my dad, he is from Tennessee, which is a state in the South. So if you've ever heard, have any of you ever heard like a Southern accent? Like Texas? Yes. Like yeah. kind of cowboy. Yeah. Only in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's what my grandma... That's how my grandparents sound. It's kind of like the, oh. the southern accent. Yeah, it's super funny. Um, yeah. And then my mom, she's she's from Utah and Idaho. So pretty close to here. Um, but that is my family. Um, Medina, would you like to go next and kind of introduce your family? Okay. Um, I have only one sibling. Mm -hmm. Um, my brother, I mean, and uh, him uh, uh, is Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali, uh -huh. Muhammad, yeah, Muhammad Ali, and um, my mom, 
from uh, Baku. I mean, we say Yeras uh -huh. in, in Azerbaijan language, and my father from originally uh, Kalbeja. And um, did I say their names and their age or? Okay. Yeah, if you'd like um, to, you can say whatever you'd like. Okay, my brother's age is uh, 17 and um, <laughs> my mom's name is Metanet. My mm -hmm. father's name is Rami. And nice. um, I am hiding my mom's entire age, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. So just um, a tip, Medina, when you say someone's age, usually you just say she is 17 years old or he is 17 years old. My brother is five years old. Oh, okay. So it's kind of, it's just a little bit more simpler, but way to go. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Does anyone have any questions for her? And if this is kind of just supposed to be like a conversation. So if you have questions you want to ask Medina, um, feel free to but it's just going to be a fun little way to get to practice um we can read shadi's comments next she says we are four and i only have one brother he is four years old oh he is four years older than me he is already married and has two princesses we are originally from south of iran oh that's awesome um so Sh shadi one tip for you is you would say we have four people in my family okay um just to kind of clarify it i guess um or we have a family of four that's another way you could say it and i only have one brother perfect thank you so much um all right Mar marwa would you like to go next yep um okay uh so how many siblings do i have uh one minute um, 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 okay five i was counting i'm sorry i have five siblings uh, -huh. uh one one older brother he's the oldest he's 26 and two younger sisters mm -hmm. i'm the one after the older so the oldest uh -huh. um she my younger sister she's 20 my other sister she is nine mm -hmm. and two younger brothers what both of them are um 15 years old and my mom and dad so we are like eight uh no uh my one of my brothers is um my brother from another mom so okay. yeah, it's normal to marry another woman uh -huh. so yeah okay. um Aww. and yeah the next one. wow that is so fun. Oh, I didn't say their name. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Should I Very do good. it too quick? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so the oldest is Ahmed, then me, Marwa, then Hagar, then Badr, Yusuf, and the youngest, her name is Anurin. So, Anurin. Ooh, that's cool. It's a bit hard, I know. Yeah, no, that's so fun. What a fun family. Is it common to yeah. have big families where you were from? Yes, in Middle East or Arab countries, it's normal to have like a big family. Some people don't really prefer, but some are just like, it's so normal for us here. Really? That is so cool. And I we are... Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, 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 go ahead. I guess we have a delay, I'm sorry. No, you're totally good. You are originally from where? Uh, yeah, my parents are originally from... Um, like we are all from Cairo, so the capital city, we can say. So they both from the same place. Okay, that is so cool. That's really interesting that families are normally big where you're from. <laughs> here in the United States, it depends on where you live. Like for example, here in Utah, it is more common to have a larger family. Um, but I know that other places in the United States it's more common to have like one or two kids. So that's really cool. Thank you so much, Marwa. Um, Drivener, would you like to go next? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yes, sure. Uh, uh, I have no siblings, uh, but mm -hmm. I have many cousins. 
Yeah. I have many cousins and uh, they are they all are adult. <laughs> and, uh, I'm not young as well, but uh, okay. Uh, I would like to, to to tell you a little bit about my family. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have a wife. Uh, she works uh, as a teacher as well uh, mm-hmm. in kindergarten and in primary school. Yeah. Uh, I have two kids. Uh, they are uh, my son is 14 14 yeah 14 years old and my daughter is a little bit elder uh, she is 15 15 and a half maybe yeah. mm-hmm. in the uh, next uh, next uh, spring next spring uh, she will be 16 yes oh <laughs> my wife <coughs> Said <laughs> that our do- daughter will be 16 <laughs> next uh, <laughs> next spring. <laughs> Have you heard the phrase yeah. "mother knows best"? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> she she knows English, by the way. Awesome. <laughs> she so she cool. understands English. Yeah. You should join. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what uh, what uh, what can I add? Ask me a question. Um, what is it like? How was it growing up and being the only child and not having any siblings? Uh, I don't know. For me, it's uh, normal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For me, it's uh, just natural because uh, I had uh, lots of friends. Uh, I had uh, my my cousins. Mm-hmm. I had my cousins. Uh, I didn't feel I. I'm alone. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Everything was okay. Yeah. That's awesome. How cool. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, all right. And last but not least, Fazil, would you like to tell us a little bit about your family? <laughs> yeah, sure. So I have two elder brothers and I'm the youngest. Okay. And their names are Faisal and Fahad. And I'm Fazil. So everyone have F in their name. Aww. Wait, what was the first? <laughs> you said, what was the first Faisal. name? Faisal. 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 Oh, yeah. cool. Let me write. Uh-huh. Faisal. Okay. And another one is Fahad. And uh-huh. me is Fazil. And they're married. My elder brother is about 33 years. Uh-huh. And another brother is 32. And I'm 30. Nice. That's <laughs> And uh, yeah, my parents are from India. Mm-hmm. We all are from India. Woo-hoo. Cool. That's so fun. Okay, another question that I just thought of. Um, does anyone have a good story of how your parents met? Like, for example, because I know that there are a lot of people have different stories, but does anyone have a good story of how their parents met each other? Uh, in my case, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, it was arranged marriage and... Uh, usually in this uh, place where we lived, there mm-hmm. was no not something like love marriage or something. The okay. parents used to meet before marriage. Yeah, so wow. it was an arranged marriage. They met after the marriage. <laughs> that is so crazy. <laughs> That's wild. So for you, do you already like have your parents already arranged your marriage? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Oh, that's so interesting. That's awesome. Um, and Drivener, how did you meet your wife? Uh, how? The, oh, yeah. Uh, I was going to to tell. Uh, <laughs> I was going to tell you about uh, how how I met my wife mm-hmm. because uh, how my parents uh, met each other. I don't know exactly. Okay. <laughs> <Either>. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
uh, uh, I met uh, my wife uh, maybe how 16 years ago or uh -huh. 17, 16 or 17 years ago, and uh, she was a singer. Mm. She is still a singer, but uh, she works. Uh, it's not a professional, but she has uh, an education in uh, music mm -hmm. and in teaching. And uh, we made uh, some little band, something like little band, and we perform. We was gigging. We were gigging. Wow. <laughs> that is awesome. I am not a singer either, but uh, she is a good singer and... Uh, uh, this is how we have met each other. Oh, so do you play the guitar and she sings then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Next <laughs> live stream, you should play a song for <laughs> yeah. us. Can you please? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everyone, <Maybe>. everyone, say please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one day, one day, guys. <laughs> One day, uh, I have to ask my wife uh, to prepare something because I'm not a singer. <laughs> Maybe I'm not sure. I have to ask her. Okay. First. <laughs> yeah. We're crossing our fingers. Okay. Um, and I'm so sorry, Bazim. I just saw your comment. Does that? So yes, sibling. Just like Shadi, Shadi said, it's just brothers and sisters. So the group of brothers and sisters is siblings. Does that make sense? So sweet. Well, cool. I'm solo, no siblings. Thanks, God. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, my heavens. I love you all. You seriously make me laugh so much. Oh, so sorry. That was really loud. Um, all righty. Are we ready for the next topic, or does anyone else want to add anything to families? Uh, okay. uh, teacher Haley, please, uh, one moment. If someone wants to join, uh, mm -hmm. ask me. I can go and uh, be in uh, the chat box. Because I know it's uh, sometimes uh, I know how it how it is yeah if i want to talk a little bit but nobody wants to <laughs> escape <laughs> <laughs> no sounds yeah. good it looks like we don't have any requests right now so i think that you are good to go um madina says my mother knew my father from university and my mom waited for my father in the rain during their first meeting for two hours but he sat in the car and looked at my mother when my mom came back to her home my father called and said my said to my mom why didn't you come oh, no that is so sad <laughs> yeah medina that is so sad <laughs> but it all worked out right your parents are together i uh, yes <laughs> oh that is so sad but okay. for one week my mom doesn't talk with my father <laughs> serious oh my heaven now we know who became the boss <laughs> that's hilarious my so i'll tell the story of how my parents met so my dad he actually did the same little service project thing that i did where he goes to a different place to serve other people right so he was gone for about two years and then he came back and started studying at a university and that's when he met my mom and so then they started dating. And then the way that, um, do you all know the word to propose when the man has the ring for the woman and says, will you marry me? Do you all know what that means? To propose. Hello, Tukir Yeah. So does everyone know what that means? So that's when the, the man gets on one knee and says, will you marry me? And he has a ring. Does everyone know what that is? Yes. Yes. So the way that my dad did that, because here they're like, you got to be creative in order to do that. So, <laughs> so my dad, what he did is he wrote a song because my dad also plays the guitar. And so he wrote a song 
and he sang oh. it to my mom, and then he proposed. <laughs> isn't that so cute? This is so romantic. I know. Isn't that so cute? So that's a story of my parents. Yeah, uh, really. Bia says, "Hollow users are like my siblings." Aw, that's cute. Yeah. So my parents are used originally from Uzbekistan. Is that how you say it? Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. So. Uzbekistan. Uh, okay. Cool. Uzbekistan. And teacher Rahat, if you would like to join and hop on, we're just having a group conversation. Um, it's going to be super fun. <laughs> how cool. Uh, teacher okay. Haley, uh, yes. uh, sorry. Uh, how many people can you join at the time? I don't know. We'll figure that out. Maybe six. Six, six or... <laughs> One, two, three, four... Because you are from laptop. We can have two more. Okay, two uh, more. Okay. So yeah, we can have two more people hop on if anyone would like to. Let's go to our next topic. Exercise. And I found this picture of this really muscle oh. <laughs> Um, But this is, I because I'm really interested to know what how exercise is for all of you, like where you all live. Because when I was in Brazil, um, they are really active. They love to play soccer or football. Um, but as far as exercising go goes, a lot of people I met, they didn't exercise. And so I'm interested to hear kind of how it is with all of you. Like if you exercise, what kind of things do you do to exercise? Um, and how the culture is in your country. Does that make sense? And so let's start with Fazil. Would you like to kind of talk about that first? Okay. So uh, I don't exercise too much, but I like to play outdoor games like basketball and football. So nice. I think it's a kind of exercise too, because we do some warm up, warm up exercises mm -hmm. like uh, push ups and pull ups. And uh, yeah, so in my country, there are so many gymnasiums around here. Mm -hmm. uh, even near my house, there are around five gymnasiums mm -hmm. and people like to go a lot. They do exercises, various kinds of machines and all. That's awesome. And yeah, cool. what happens if people do not exercise? So if people do not exercise i think um it causes so many uh means physical harm maybe i don't know how to say it no that's a, yeah. they, um, they are become uh, becoming weak yeah they become weak lazy or obese maybe yeah. fat <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep okay um, and Fazil, just one thing, gymnasium is correct, but usually, at least here, we just use the word gym. So a little bit more, yeah. sim a little more simple, but yeah, that's yeah. really cool. That's awesome. And it's good. It's, I love, I honestly, I've been trying to get back into basketball as well. <laughs> My little brother, he is trying to learn how to play basketball. And so mm -hmm. I was trying to practice it with him one day. And it's hard. It's hard to try and, like, throw the ball <laughs> into the hoop. But Yeah, it's, it's a heavy ball. You have to dribble it yes. all the time. Uh-huh. Well, and that's the thing. When I would dribble, so... Um, I will write down this word in case those of you who are watching don't know what that means. So dribble. Oh, Marwa, thank you so much for coming. It was so good to have you. You're the best. Um, so dribble, that's how you spell it. I just commented it. Um, but that's when you bounce the ball, when you go like this with the basketball. And so I'm really bad at dribbling. And so when I would dribble the ball would bounce oh. on my foot and then it would fly <laughs> across the room. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's a fun game. Um, yeah. Madina, would you, oh, so sorry. Did you want to say anything else? Yeah. Um, Madina, would you like to talk a little bit about exercise for you? Uh, 
Okay. Um, first, uh, do I usually take size with you? How often? Okay. Um, yes, I uh, like every day I do some exercise because I need it for my um, how can I say? what's that uh, back back. I mean, uh, wait. I mean, because uh, I don't know which. Uh, Sorry, say that one more time. Or if you want to type it in the chat or something. Lumber, lumber curriculum. Okay. Lumber. Sorry, can you say that one more time? Like that one in Google Translate. Oh. Yeah, so like you're back. Uh, yes. Okay. That's really cool. Um, that has been helping. Yeah. Also, every day I need to do exercise, and um, also um, I like gymnastics. And in my country, um, like girls always like to give. And uh, in here we have some gym uh, centers for about it, and I also go there. And also I like ballet, do uh, the ballet and dance. So yes, how you say that, the T is silent. So you say ballet, but it's spelt like ballet. So, but it's ballet. I love ballet. Yeah, yeah me too. Uh, in my language, we say ballet, and that's why I say it. Sorry. Oh, okay, no worries. And, yeah, I, yeah, I can dance ballet also. Um, uh, and in my country, yes, we do a lot of exercise. For example, um, like boys go to football, uh, and uh, girls go gym, gym or uh, dance centers, and uh, also at home too. We have like a room for about that, and <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think uh, exercise is, uh, I mean, I, exercise is good for people's uh, health or healthy. And, yeah. and wow. they will not, they, I think this will not be good for their health. Also, if you, if someone have diabetes or different um, uh, illness, that will be good for their too. Uh, mm -hmm. and, do you know, teacher, when I do some exercise, that time my sh sugar comes normal. But when I did not do, my sugars come too high. That's how it is with my little brother, too. Like, when he gets high with his sugars, he needs to go and exercise. And for those of you to who don't know, um, we're talking about diabetes, which is has to deal with sugars and to balance your, your body's sugars. So... But that, yeah, it's so interesting, right? Just how how important exercise is for your health. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Wow, thank you, Medina. That was so cool to hear hear your experiences. And speaking of ballet, I have always thought that ballet is so beautiful, and I have wanting to, I have wanted for so long to get good at doing ballet because I think it's just such a beautiful way of dance. And so when I was in college, I took a class to try and get better at ballet. <laughs> and I did so bad. It is so hard. So I think that anyone who does ballet is amazing because I know how hard it is to, to dance like that. <laughs> but... Yeah, that's right. That's awesome. Dance on the toes is very yeah. difficult. Like when yeah. I do that, my toes are like seeing my dinner. Please sleep or <laughs> go to somewhere for like waiting. Uh, like mm -hmm. that. Well, I mean, I, I forget. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah. But it's so true. I didn't even do a lot of dancing on like my toes because I know that once you want to do it on your toes, you need to dance for a long time to be able to dance on your toes but that's super cool thank you so much medina that was awesome um all righty and then 
Drivener. Do you want to go? Do you want to go talk about this? I think you may be muted. Okay. Okay. The, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, I I asked you why aren't you laughing? Because I said I am lazy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I am lazy of doing any any kind of exercises. But uh, <laughs> uh, I was uh, not bad at playing football. At football, nice. yeah, That's awesome. And uh, I played uh, football uh, for a long time. I played uh, football for a long time, and uh, my kids, including my daughter, uh, play football too. That's awesome. <laughs> the, How cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe because of your conversation, I will start a little bit uh, doing exercise. Okay, that's what we can do next. Because time. Uh, that's topic. How can I say I'm lazy? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> so how about next time we can have a hollow exercise class? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Medina <laughs> will teach. Medina will teach us uh, how to dance a little bit. <laughs> so Medina can teach us how to dance, um, and then Fazil can teach us how to play basketball. Yeah. It'll be perfect. That'd be so fun, actually. Well, cool. Um, and so, usually, so it's good that you're helping your kids be active, though. I think that's really important to help your kids to be involved in sports, to be active, to run around, to exercise, because that really will help them throughout the rest of their life, right? Um, yeah. But how it. how is it for the rest of Ukraine? Is, like... What do you think? Uh, uh, this year, Ukraine um, played against my uh, my team played against the teacher Rahat Ali team. That was terrible. <laughs> we <laughs> lost. We lost. But uh, that was for me. Um, that was really cool to see my team, my uh, team over my country playing. Such level, such high level. Uh -huh. Yeah, we lost uh, against England, but my uh, Ukra uh, Ukrainian foot football players uh, are really good in Europe. That is so cool. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, many, awesome. many, many people, many teenagers uh, play football seriously. Mm -hmm. It don't say soccer, <laughs> please. Sorry. Not, not, I'm just, I'm not, joking. I'm joking. But for me, <laughs> soccer it's uh, something not serious. But football it's serious. I know, and I've always wondered that. Like, why do we not call soccer football? Because you you like you use your foot to cook. The, to yeah, cook the ball, not socks. So. You don't use your socks. Just food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't understand because we call. Yeah. Like American football, they usually have it in their hands. Yeah. Like they don't kick the football. So I. You don't say American soccer. Yeah, right? I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> but I guess that's just how it is. Yeah. Um, well, cool. Uh, let's do. Let's see. How much time do we have left? About fifteen minutes. Okay. Um, let's see. Fatin. Fatin. If you would like to join, we would love to have you. Um, or if Rubin, I don't know if he already left. Oh, good question, Fazio. He asked about rugby. Let's see if we can try and find a picture of rugby. One second. Um, escape, escape. So I'm just going to try and find a picture of rugby just to kind of explain what this is. So the difference, the big difference, oops, the big difference between football and rugby is that rugby, uh, they don't have as much equipment. So you know how football players, they have all of the padding, 
rugby players, they don't even have helmets. Can you see that? They don't have any protection. Yeah, but I, I think uh, Fazil means uh, what is the difference between uh, American football and rugby, not soccer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm explaining that because in American football, they have helmets, they have things covering their heads. But if you look here, people who play rugby, they don't have. And I'll yes. show American football. Oops, two goals. So see how these football players, they have all of this equipment, all of a helmet, a lot of padding to protect them. But rugby players don't have this. Does that make sense? So that's kind of like the biggest difference, I would say, between honestly. And again, I am not the one to be speaking because I don't know a lot about these two sports. Um, but that is the biggest difference I can see. <laughs> yeah. So It's enough to understand. Yeah. yeah. Um, just snatching. <laughs> it's playing by hands. <laughs> Rugby is not like that. Alrighty. So let's do one more topic. Um, let's do culture. I kind of think this one is interesting. And we kind of got to hear a little bit about it, Fazil, with your parents and like arranged marriages. Um, and I've always thought that that is something really interesting is arranged marriages. And I, I don't know if this is something like you would feel comfortable with talking about. If not, no worries. But Fazil, can you explain a little bit how arranged marriages work? Because that is a big part of your culture, right? Yes. So actually, uh, I don't know from where it started, but um, it was from long ago. People here are very shy. <laughs> <laughs> and they usually don't meet like uh, in open when they want when they want to have love marriage. Mm -hmm. So parents usually approach to uh, other parents means like uh, bride sides to the groom side or mm -hmm. groom to bride when they find someone um, qualified or something according to their uh, what we said. Uh, requirements and all then they finally decide whether they want to marry or not uh, there are many there are many um, uh, we can say parameters that we see um, mm -hmm. they, some some families see caste and all some see religion and some also means uh, do in families like uh, cousins so in our culture, in my culture, uh, we usually um, don't uh, have these things like uh, love marriage, but it is allowed. It is not fully uh, uh, means uh, is, um, banned or something, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is allowed. So we can, if we, uh, if we find someone uh, means uh, compatible with us, we can tell our parents and get married. That is oh, allowed. That's yeah, cool. but but usually people don't do it. They mm -hmm. depend on their parents. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Maybe so out of respect, uh, maybe they want to show that they can be dependent on their parents. They can yeah. believe them. Yeah. Huh. That's really interesting. So for you, are like, what's your opinion? Like, do you want to have an arranged marriage? Uh, I can accept, but mm -hmm. my family always keep asking me that if I have someone, I see someone, then they can, means I can tell them. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, they are, means okay. open to it. That is so interesting. Thank you so much for sharing, Fazil. I think, I honestly, I think this is one of my favorite things about working with Hollow is that we just get to learn about so many different cultures, you know? And so it's so interesting to me because people live in such different ways that I can't even imagine. So it's so cool to just be able to learn a little bit about it. 
Um, yeah. So Fazil, since you were already talking, um, do you mind kind of talking a little bit more? So we talked specifically about this, but maybe just yeah. more other aspects of the culture that you that you live in. Uh, so actually in India, you can see variety of cultures. We mm -hmm. live in between other religi religions like uh, Hinduism and mm -hmm. there is Sikh and Christianity. Every means every religion you can find here. So mm -hmm. there is a mixture of cultures uh, and we also have um, so many festivals and all. We all celebrate together and visit each other. And so there is, uh, you can see like uh, a difference in, in when you go from north to south or east to west, you will find difference in language. You can mm -hmm. also find uh, difference in clothing, clothing style. And uh, there are various things like food. Um, there are so many things uh, like uh, uh, means, uh, these are the things that are different in uh, according to the areas in India, according to the states. So, yeah, yeah there is a variety. And if I talk about uh, some my in my place where which is not north india so mm -hmm. we have very good culture here and uh, we usually means uh, if i talk about marriages then uh, marriages are uh, nearly same in every culture mm -hmm. so the uh, bride goes to the groom's uh, house to live there and uh, usually people live with their parents not with me uh, separately so the bride lives with the groom mm -hmm. and their parents. Oh. So, yeah, these are the customs and cultures. No, oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. That is so interesting. And kind of going along, Bia says the greeting, Assalamu Alaikum, <laughs> um, is a very common expression throughout the Muslim world among Uzbeks. It is especially common in the more conservative rural areas. It is from the Arabic greeting meaning peace be unto you. The invariable response must be Valaikum Asalom. That's so cool. That's such a cool greeting. Yeah, you did a great job at explaining. Um, Medina, would you like to go next and kind of talk a little bit about your culture? Um, about, can you hear me? Mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, okay, about my culture, for about what? <laughs> or... <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, um, so kind of tell us what are some things, maybe start with greetings. How in your country, in your culture, how does someone say, like what are some greetings, some ways to say hello, to greet someone? Uh, when you greet someone, they're saying, um, assalamu alaikum. I uh, like we are saying it too. And okay. also for sometimes they are saying um or salam. That means also hello, hi, welcome. And yeah, that's all about when we greet each other. Also if you would know someone they're saying uh, like uh Nijasan, like not hello or that means hello or also how are you? Oh, uh -huh. that is so cool i love that yeah and i feel like here we just have like hey what's up like it's not anything very meaningful <laughs> oh dang we're only five more. oh sorry go ahead oh i was just gonna say we only have five more minutes i didn't see that <laughs> ah that is yeah um also, like when we, meet, uh, we when we meet or greet um, with people like we, who is older than you, mm -hmm. the time we say "nijasis" or uh, again "assalamu alaikum." I mean, "nijasis" is like "hello" and um, "how are you?" Like same, mm -hmm. but when you meet younger than you, that time you said uh, "nijasat." But when you meet with uh, older than you, that time you, uh, we need to say Nijasis. 
Oh, that is so cool. Thank you so much, Medina. That was super, super interesting. Um, yeah, I love that. I think it's so cool how each of these greetings, they have meaning. And I love especially the one that's like, peace be unto you. I think that's so cool. Um, but I'm so sorry. We don't have a lot more time. Um, Drivener, would you like to talk a little bit about your culture? I think you may be muted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, uh, Ukraine is uh, in the European country. It means uh, mm, we are Christians here. Mm -hmm. It's a Christian ca country. That's it. No. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> nothing more. Nothing more. But uh, <laughs> about greetings, uh, we say just hi if uh, it's a uh, friend. It's friends. It, it is my friend. Mm -hmm. If it is my friend, uh, I say hi. But uh, to be respectful, I say good something like good day. Okay. I wish you good day. Just good day. That's so cool. So can you teach yeah. us how to say hi in Ukrainian? <laughs> Privit. Say that Privit. one more time. Privit. Privit. Yeah. If you know a little bit Russian, Privit. Privit. It's That's... in Russian. In Ukrainian, Privit. So is Ukrainian and Russian very similar? Like, can you understand when uh, Russian speak? Yeah, uh, mm, just uh, grammar exactly the same. Grammar oh. rules exactly the same, but many words are different. Okay, that makes so sense. Sound, uh, sound is different. Okay. But the grammar rules are uh, exactly the, the same. Yeah. Привет. <laughs> oh, yes. Medina asked if she can take a screenshot. Of course you can. <laughs> Here, we'll bring on Fazil so he can join our screenshot real quick. Um, and I... Sorry, what did you say, Medina? Can I, uh, can I ask something to drive in a brother? Mm -hmm. um, like, uh, drive in a brother, you say it's a uh, grammar scene. I don't know if in, um, your language is uh, have, I mean, Moscow world, Chansky world, yeah. right here. Oh wow! Yes, yes. Everything uh, the same in Russian, Ukrainian, uh, Belarus uh, language. It's uh, the same, but uh, names uh, are different. Everything is different. In so uh, uh, sound is different. We have one minute. Okay, <laughs> let's retake take our picture then. Are you ready, Fazil? Oh, never mind. Can you full uh, do full uh, your screen? Ha, ah, yes. Okay. Smile. I took it. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. This was so fun to get to talk with you all. I absolutely loved this. And I'm thinking I've. this is such a cool new thing that we can do is to talk to, with a lot of people. So I think we're going to do some games in the future, maybe some music programs. Yeah. Driver, are you and your wife? Necessary. It's necessary. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, but thank you so much. I love you all. And I hope you, you have an amazing, amazing day. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Three, thank you. Have a good thank one. You so much.